talk about both pieces simultaneously since we are talking about mixing prints and patterns. So let's go ahead and talk about this top. So this is a smock strapless top from Gray Lab. Gray Lab is a new brand that I discovered on their shop. I believe it is based in Los Angeles. And I really love their easy, breezy pieces. It definitely felt very LA to me. As someone that recently moved to Los Angeles, I have been looking to add crop tops like this into my wardrobe. So this was a perfect piece for me to pick up. I absolutely love the sort of frill detail here. I like how it has it here. It also has a frill detail on the bottom, which I thought was super cute. Um, but I, what I love the most is the ruching here and here. I do feel like it kind of like really holds you in and sucks you in and it gives you a nice shape as well. I feel like a lot of times Van Doe tops like this, like it feels very saggy and it feels like there's no like structure to them. So this, this top definitely sucks you in. Um, it is not falling off as you can see I am demonstrating um it so it, it is definitely tight enough um and I do feel very secure in this top which I think is very important for a strapless top it is true to size I am wearing a size small and I think that it hugs me um just tight enough for it to not fall off my body which would be really bad I also love the cropped length I feel like it goes really well with High-waisted skirts like I'm wearing today, high-waisted shorts, high-waisted jeans, basically anything high-waisted I think would be super cute with this top. So now let's talk about how we are mixing these two different prints together. Hello, um, who uh, mostly yes and Hoffman that just joined. We are talking about mixing prints and colors today and I am sharing the first piece. Okay, so in terms of mixing these two prints together, basically what I did is I looked for two prints that had a similar theme, a similar aesthetic. So this print, as you can see, it's like sort of a graphic print and it looks like a paint. Different, um styles of the print I found that because they had a similar theme and they both reminded me of brush strokes um, on a painting I felt that they would be really cute to mix together and I absolutely love how they look together so that is the first tip when it comes to mixing prints and colors look for prints that have a similar theme so you could always do you could do floral on floral you could do animal print on animal print um but basically just look for prints that have the same theme they don't have to have the same vibe you know what i mean like it could be a super artsy floral and then a super like geometric shaped floral but as long as it's the same theme that is one way that you could easily mix prints together um and that is what i did here and then in terms of sort of outside of the prints themselves i liked that this top um, it only has two colors, right? It has, even though it's a printed top, it's just navy and this versus the skirt has tons of different colors. So I felt that this top was actually a nice way to balance out a more colorfully printed skirt. This is, the skirt is definitely more of the statement piece in this look. The top is more of the understated piece. And that is the second tip on how to mix different patterns is you could mix a more bold pattern with a more subtle pattern, which is what I have done here. This skirt pattern is super bold, it's super colorful, and then this pattern is actually very subtle. And I actually think like from far away, you probably like can't even tell that this top has a print on it, you know? So it's a very subtle print, and that is another way that you could easily mix prints and patterns together, which is what I have done here. So if there are no, oh, okay, so you know what? I'm going to now share with you guys, before I go to the skirt, um, I'm going to go in a sequence of pieces because the way that the app works, once I put a piece 
up on screen, I won't be able to go back to it. So I don't want to put up the skirt piece yet because I want to finish talking about the top first and give you guys as much time as possible to look at the top since I have put that on the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys another way that you could style this top um, and pair with a different print. So another way that I would do it is do like a two-piece set with this top. So here I have a two-piece set that has a jacket and a skirt. And this obviously is a very fun and whimsical print. It has these cute little florals in it. It has this cute little cartoon girl. And this is another way that I would mix, I would style this top and mix these two prints together. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really cute. Um, you know, I really like that it is very sort of whimsical and again, because the great thing about this top is that it is a very understated print. So because it's so understated, you could pretty much honestly like mix this top with probably any other print and it will look fine. Um, so that's another tip for you guys. If you want to just get started, dip your toe into mixing prints and patterns is look for a print that is very subtle and understated. So this one, honestly, from far away, it just looks like a navy top. And that is a great way for you to incorporate another print in your look. Um, so if you do this, you know, from far away, it just looks like you've got a cute two-piece set on and a navy top. And then if you look up close, you can see that there's a very subtle print. And I absolutely love the way this looks because I do feel like it's very unexpected. Um, I do feel like most people would just probably pair this with a plain um, crop top, a plain bralette situation. But I do think that the added print definitely adds um, a surprise element and, and it also adds sort of something more for your eye to look at. It gives your eye like a second look, you know, like you have to look at it twice and be like, oh wait, there's a print on her top. Like that's so cool. So that's another way that I would style this top and just mix it with, you know, another fun, whimsical print. Um, and that's really the great thing about this top. Um, it is also a great price as well. Um, for today, it's $42.50 with the 15% off, and it is a very versatile top. It's a great choice for a printed top, especially for those of you that are just getting into wearing all those prints, mixing those prints. This is a great choice because it is a very subtle print and it would pair nicely with any other printed piece you have in your closet which i think is always a plus so that is this top if you guys have any questions about this top now would be the time to let me know if you don't have any questions and you just want to think about it a little more look at the top details a little more you can always go to the four squares um and that if you click on that that will show you guys everything i'm sharing today so you can go back and refer to it um and if you have any questions as i'm live live streaming feel free to type that in, in the chat and i will do my best to answer that so i'm gonna go ahead and share the skirt next because the skirt is actually my favorite piece from today's stream and i was so excited to see this